The number one problem my women law students struggle with is being comfortable with the strength of their voice. At some point in their career, most women trial lawyers have been told, you sound like a bitch, be careful about your tone, we're afraid to be passionate, we're afraid to be emotional. All of the things that you need to become a great trial lawyer. We've got to change that and we as women can do it. We have to start looking at our work as our currency. This is the currency that you have to get the experience that you need to build the trial career that you want. If you are at a firm that does not accept you for who you truly are, that may not be the place where you need to spend your career. Staying vulnerable is a risk we all take in order to experience connection. Now I know what some of you are gonna say. Sarah, I don't have time to be vulnerable. I'm in the middle of battling for my client's life. I'm in the middle of battling for my client's rights. I don't have time to be vulnerable. I am being a warrior. Well, you're gonna have to be a vulnerable warrior. It takes an astounding amount of strength to walk into a courtroom full of a bunch of people you do not know and be vulnerable. Flipping the switch from good to great means taking all the technique that you have been taught, the form of the question, the evidentiary rules, how to structure an opening statement and making them yours with your authentic voice, your authentic self, and your authentic emotions.